folks. Oh, you can see me in here too. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. I am in the in one of the rooms because I'm out of breath. I was talking for a little bit, um, really fast and just a lot, so I'm a little out of breath. But I'm in one of the extra bedrooms because my mirror's in here. The big mirror's in here. This is the one mirror that they've got from Ikea that like all the influencers have. <laughs> that ain't me. I wanted it because it was the cheapest and biggest that I could find. Anyways, I came in here because I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. And the reason why I want to show you what I'm wearing is because it's the first time in a, in a while that people have complimented me on what I'm wearing. Okay, so I'm wearing this like sweater top situation that I got from Banana Republic. And then I have this blue skirt. Don't don't mind that. Just we're not going to talk about that or the Christmas tree behind me. But I have this skirt that I got from Express. I had this on and then I had just like some little shoes on. My boo and I had to go out to get photos and I'll explain to you in a second what those photos were about. But before that, I went to HEB and Walmart and places like that. And one of the women at both places actually were like, oh, I just love your skirt. I love what you're wearing, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, thank you so much. Cause I'm like, I'm in sweats all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Like I have no problems being bummy in these streets. I mean, y'all see how I've been presenting myself on the internet in these YouTube videos. So I clearly have no shame in my bummy game. We go to Walgreens to get these photos and this girl comes out of her car and sees us and is like, oh my gosh, your, your skirt is so pretty. She's like, it is just this beautiful color. Like whatever she said, I'm sure he probably remembers since he was right there. And I was like, oh, what you gonna call me a Disney princess or something? Call me Tiana. But anyways, let me tell you why we went to Walgreens. So we went to Walgreens to get passport photos. Now I know that it's, <laughs> these vlogs might, oh my, how, how? The cat just came in here. Hey folks, good morning. Well, it's the morning time for me. It's literally like 6.30 or something or 6.30 something, I don't know, I just woke up. But I realized that I didn't finish telling you guys why we went to Wal uh, Walgreens for photos. But before I get into that, I just rewatched the clip, like the last clip from yesterday and saw that <laughs> saw in the viewfinder that the door had opened a little bit but you don't see that my boo is the one that opened the door i was so shocked when the cat came in because the room that i was in and the room that the cat is in is a jack and jill so there's a bathroom that separates the two um kind of connects the two and i always keep everything shut like you know we keep sergio in his own room because of anxiety for him and anxiety for one of the dogs like they just don't mesh but it was just so funny because i i was genuinely shocked i was just like oh my gosh i left two doors open i left the bathroom i left the door from his room that goes into the bathroom open or cracked or something and then i left the door that goes from the bathroom into the room that i was in open and i was like crap how could i be so careless but i was like i'm never in that room even though my mirror is there, but like I'm never in that room unless I'm like straightening my hair or doing something with my hair where I have to like blow it out or something. After I stopped recording, I was still in shock. I was just like, how did you get in here? I'm trying to like rationalize how like I made a mistake and left the door open and just all these different things that I'm trying to rationalize in my head. And then I go to open the, the door to the bathroom and my boo scares me, he's in the bathroom. And I was just like, are you freaking kidding me? So he's the reason why Sergio got into the room. Hi. Come on here and I'm like still chewing. Hopefully I ain't got nothing in my teeth. But, so I got an order of things from Target recently for my Bob Hall series and depending on when this vlog comes out in relation to the next one not really sure like you might have already seen these or you might be seeing them very soon I, I don't know but anyways so i got these cookies from partake they're in the flavor cookie butter and they are vegan and gluten free free of the top nine allergens guys these are very good 
Okay, the reason why I kind of have this look of disbelief is because one, this box just reminds me of Girl Scout cookies and I ain't got no Girl Scout cookies, so I'm a little upset that I ain't got no Girl Scout cookies. And so when I see something that looks like Girl Scout cookies and I don't have them, I'm immediately mad. But anyways, these are very good. And the reason why I'm like, like I said, disbelief is not just because of the Girl Scout cookie box, looking box, but it's also because they don't have any of this stuff in it. Like none of it. You know what I mean? And even looking at the ingredients here, and you can pause and screenshot if you want, but you can see all of the ingredients in there. For the most part, you know exactly what's in it. But it's also because these taste, these taste like gingerbread cookies. If you're someone, like my sister, my sister loves ginger snaps. And I mean like the traditional, like old school ones that they be digging out every fall from the vault. That's what she likes and she makes really good ginger gingerbread i can't remember if it's like a loaf or a cake or something but my sisters are really good cooks so anything she makes is good but well, they taste like a very mild version of a gingerbread cook i'm like pleasantly surprised welcome back to another day in this vlog today we go to the valley i'm super stoked sorry i'm moving all around actually let me put this down and i can kind of explain to you why i'm looking a little rough i'm putting you guys on top of one of the bookshelves where I have a bunch of stuff. Oh, I'm <laughs> just getting ready to do the, the row stuff. So I'm looking a little rough. It's like 6.30 in the morning. I've been up since, I wanna say 5, 5.30, 5.15, something like that. I'm trying to give myself a little bit of grace because I tend to overwork myself and tend to stress myself out. I just feel discombobulated. I feel like I haven't been able to complete anything. I feel like a little bit of imposter syndrome, I guess. But anyways, this isn't the time to talk about that. Let me get downstairs in the garage and get my workout in. Oh, hey folks, welcome back. I am kind of in the process of ending the last vlog the, from the valley because I didn't end it in the middle of starting a new vlog. So let's talk about the valley first. So. But anyways, about the valley. So the valley was great. It was quite short lived because of some difficulties that we ran into, but I'll kind of get into that in a second. So try to get through this really quick. So Friday, we got up early. I did a row. Y'all would have seen that in the vlog and then got ready for the day. So we ended up leaving here at eight o'clock and getting down there around like two, three o'clock because we had to um, like fill up and stuff um, or charge up or whatever so getting down there and it's funny because as we were kind of getting in there and like driving through you know the different cities and stuff excuse me my boo was like oh you know the valley's very much like california and he was so right about that because you you drive around or walk around or whatever just kind of explore around and there's nothing but palm trees down there so that was definitely something that i wasn't anticipating and to be quite honest i really wasn't sure what i was going to what I was expecting to see out there other than just knowing that because it's right next to Mexico that I would just see a bunch of Mexicans but like I live in Texas so I see a bunch of Mexicans anyway so we get down there and of course we're starving because we hadn't eaten since you know since the morning time so we went to a place called Taqueria Mary's which they just call Mary's down there to get some tacos guys I don't know how I'm ever gonna eat another taco that's not from like an authentic Mexican restaurant or something ever again, or even beans. Because as much as I'm like, I mean, I'm probably more of a beans person now, but I've never really been a beans person. Like back in, in Jersey, like you're not gonna get good barbecue, right? You're gonna get really good Irish food and Italian food because that's what's up there. The barbecue and the Mexican is where it's at down in the South. So like when it came to beans and like brisket and ribs and all that kind of stuff, I felt like I just could never get a good fill in the blank up there. So when I moved to Texas, like people were just like all about beans and I was just like, okay, whatever. And then when I met my boo, he introduced me to ranch style beans and I was like, oh, I really like these beans. They're savory. They're not sweet, like a baked bean and all that kind of stuff. And then going down in the valley, I was introduced to jato beans. 
I don't know how I'm ever gonna eat other beans ever again. Like I, I just don't get how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get an attitude. They're gonna be disgusting because I've, I've had the real thing. You know what I mean? But they were so good. So Mary's, I had um, beans and tacos, and then he ordered this. Um, I have to ask him what it's called. I don't know. Papa Frata is what's coming to mind, but I know for sure that's not. Like I know I just made that up. But anyways, it was a huge baked potato. Like literally, it was like this big so good like my mind was just so freaking blown how good the food was down there but at the same time i wasn't actually surprised because i'm like i'm getting the real thing you know without having to cross over the border so we get mary's we're just kind of chilling out drinking our lemonade and eating our beans and our tacos and our big old potato and everything like that so then we kind of gather our things because we did have some leftovers and then we were staying with one of his friends so we go to his friend's house to kind of settle in and, and unload our stuff and just kind of you know get to see him and, and get to know him a little bit and all that um i got to meet his little son oh my gosh his son is so adorable so smart such a character such a personality like he and i feel like we're best friends within the first 10 minutes of us being there. So it's really nice. But as I said earlier, our trip was short lived because as soon as we get settled into his friend's house, tell me why our garage door didn't want to work. So his mom was watching the dogs and like kind of keeping an eye on the, on the cat and stuff for us. And as soon as we get settled in, she's on the phone with him and she's like, yeah, your garage door won't go down. And I mean like huge gap in the door, like halfway down and it would not go down. And she was trying really hard to get it down too, to at least just close it. And then, you know, whenever we got home, we could call the garage company to have them come out and fix it and everything. So we were on the phone trying to like, you know, get in touch with people from different garage companies, try to see if someone could come out on the weekends. Of course, we're unsuccessful. We're just kind of like, okay, well, we'll play it by ear so that if something was to happen where we really can't get in touch with somebody to fix this, then we'll have to leave the next day, which, sorry, my boo called me. <laughs> I feel like I'm always so close to the camera. But anyways, I got lunch, which are tamales. Super stoked to be getting into this because it's pretty much what we've been eating for the past couple of days. But where was I? So yes, our garage door wouldn't go down. So we had to um, go, go back a day early, unfortunately. But we were able to, you know, meet his friends. Uh, well, I was able to meet his friends. He was able to see his friends again after such a long period of time and, you know, eat some authentic Mexican food. Uh, after we had dinner at Pancho's on Friday, we had so much leftover. Oh my gosh, we had so much leftover. Like we even had stuff leftover, I think, when we came back home. Um, I don't think we had eaten everything by that point. So then we had dinner at Pancho's, everything was great. We chilled out, got back to his friend's house and, and went to sleep. The next morning we got up early to go to Rocha's for breakfast tacos. And then I'll just like insert a, a mini little clip here so you guys can see um, what it is that we ate and, and all of that stuff. Tell me babe, what are you excited about? Old breakfasts that I haven't had in a long time. <laughs> and what are we eating so that people know? We are eating barbacoa breakfast tacos. Mm -mm -mm. Yum. So then after Rocha's, we just really just kind of went on a little trail of just seeing his different friends and, and seeing his dad and stuff. So there wasn't like a ton of stuff that we were doing while we were there, you know what I mean? We didn't have a ton of plans other than just certain restaurants and just places to eat to go to. It was nice to kind of get out from in front of the computer, get out from in front of like screens and everything and just kind of the regular hustle and bustle of every day and you know get outside a little bit because we were kind of walking around the convention center a little bit. After breakfast, like I said, we went, we were kind of going all over the place, kind of um, meeting up with friends and whatnot. We ended up eating some of our leftovers from the day before for lunch. And then we ended up getting tamales. Tamale, 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 tamale. So we got three and a half dozen tamales. And like, as you can see by the size, they're not very big. Like, they're not very big at all. I'm trying not to make their sliding, but they're not very big. So when he said that we're gonna grab a couple dozen, I was just like, I know I can eat a lot, but I can't eat a lot in like one sitting. Like I have to eat small chunks like throughout the day. And it was just so funny because I'm just like, what? And he's like, don't worry, it's gonna get eaten in like two, three days. And I'm thinking to myself, 
am I gonna get sick of them by the, like the second day no girl to be honest we probably could have bought another two dozen that's how good these things are so on my plate right now this is all pork because this is literally the only tamales that are left in the house so I have two spicy pork and then a spicy pork with green chili sauce or whatever and then on top are just some salsas from like torchies that we had left over I think or left over from like um, our tacos from Mary's and um, you know the salsa and stuff that they gave us from Delia's. Delia's is where we got the tamales from. After we kind of said our final goodbyes I think the last person we saw was his dad before we left. You know we just headed on home and saw the pups and the cat and and that was it. I'm gonna get into this and all that jazz and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for watching! I'm so weird. Why do you guys like me? Uh. <laughs> Bye guys.